Hi everyone, my name is Andrea Schley and this is my Curriculum 21 discussion. Uh, let's get going. So we're talking about technology integration and how um, important it is to include technology into our core classrooms or core classes and what are the barriers that teachers face when trying to incorporate technology. Um, so one thing I think we should be aware of, or we probably are, is that technology is everywhere. Uh, we live in a world where technology is in everything we do. We find recipes, we watch videos about recipes, we read on our tablets, we get mail um, in our email, we are following news channels on Twitter, we are watching what the president is doing step by step on Twitter, um, we contact our family through phones and text messages and video chatting. We're even getting a master's degree with technology. So everything we do is using technology and we should be able to bring that 21st century skill into the classroom and really prepare our students for the world and what we want them to do. Um, because we're we need to prepare them for the world. We want them to be lifelong learners. And when we can bring technology into the classroom, we are preparing them for what the world really does look like right now. Um, one barrier, another barrier I think that we're facing right now is schools are trying really hard to fight technology to get rid of cell phones in the classroom and make sure kids aren't playing in, on their devices and and all of the above and and those are concerns and real problems with technology but if teachers could find ways to really integrate technology where it was a learning tool for students then i think we wouldn't have those problems we would find different ways to engage students by using technology and really allow them to learn through it Another thing I think about technology is it, it can increase student engagement. Um, students are naturally drawn to technology because this is what they know about the world. They haven't grown up with dial-up internet or a world where you can't Google everything. They have technology at their fingertips from a very young age and they oftentimes know more about technology than we do. So when we include technology into the classroom, students become more engaged in what we are doing. I recently read about a teacher who uses blogs in her classroom where she allows students to post onto the blog and respond to students on her blog. And it really helps the students to become engaged in what they're reading. Um, when students read some, read a chapter or a story in the classroom, they can post a picture of their favorite picture. They can record themselves reading their favorite part. They can recreate pictures and, and post those or videos. And the students are so engaged and interested in that, not only in their own work, but their classmates work. They work together to um, create these create these um, pieces of work and then they're so interested in all the other parts of the reading process because of technology. I also saw a video about a, a program called Mystery Skype where Skype uses the classroom where two classrooms use Skype and they connect to each other and they play a game with each with a classroom around the world where they try to figure out where this classroom is. So they can ask questions about, are you in the United States? Are you on this side of the Mississippi? Do you have mountains where you live? And they go back and forth asking each other questions and using maps and Google Maps and different things to really try to figure out which city um, this the classroom is from. And it creates a real world experience for students and, and really engages students into finding using a map and finding out 
how and how the world works and how it's run differently because they are engaging so much into this lesson. And I just think those things are wonderful and students become engaged and comprehend more about the world when they are using technology that supports that. I think being a special education teacher, I'm constantly getting questions about how do I work with a student? How do I modify? How do I accommodate for the student? What can I do? Um, and teachers really want to know what to do and really want to be successful at teaching all of their students. And I think technology is a great resource to helping teachers reach all students in the classroom, not just special needs students, but gifted and talented students, ELLs or ESL students, um, any students in the classroom that you are wondering what to do, behavior students, what, what we can do, how we can engage them, how we can reach them at their level. Technology is a great way to reach out and to find those different things. You can read stories online. Children can listen to recordings of stories. Um, you can use pictures and videos to show different methods of teaching math or science or social studies. And I think that technology is a really easy way for students to really get the education that they need on their level without a teacher having to go far above and beyond um, what they normally do. I also think technology tools are really helpful in the classroom with students who can't hear, can't see as well, um, can't write as well, whatever it is that holds them back, there's a technology tool for them to use and they can use that and teachers can be happy knowing that they're reaching every student in their classroom. Technology allows teachers to quickly and easily assess students. That's something that's big right now. We're worried about it. We're wondering what we can do and what we should be doing for our students. We're being expected to assess students and make a plan and, and really reach what gaps we're missing in the classroom. And there are great assessment tools out there for teachers. Um, Google Classrooms, you can create quizzes and have them graded instantly instead of sitting at your desk grading hundreds of papers. Um, there are programs that we are probably required to use like iStation in the classroom, but they give you great data about what the students can and can't do, um, where they are, what, they're, what gaps they're missing, and things like that are valuable in the classroom and valuable when you're talking to parents and trying to get information to them about what their, what their child needs and, and what you are doing for their child to reach their gaps. So I think technology provides a way for teachers to really get information about their students in an easy way.